Hi, I'm Nancy Seiler. For today's Ask Nancy, we've got a decorating expert from Wilton who's going to show you some great, fun project ideas. Hi, I'm Beth Summers from the Wilton Test Kitchen. And Easter to me is really all about candy and sweets. So why not try making your own this year? I'm going to start out by showing you the Easter candy making kit. The candy making kit itself comes with everything you need to make all these delicious homemade candies including several colors of candy melts and Eastery pastel colors, sticks to put your, your, your candies onto, uh, onto lollies, and several molds, there's bunnies, butterflies, flowers, anything you can think of that's spring-like is included in this kit. And then you'll also get bags so that you can tie them up to gift. Now it's really easy to do homemade candy. If you've never done it before, don't be intimidated. You just melt the candy melts in the microwave at 30 second intervals um, for, at 50% power, stirring in between those intervals until the candy is nice, nice and warm and, and, and uh, melted through completely. You just snip the tip of your bag slightly and use the bag to squeeze candy into the molds. Now this one I'm going to do a double color just to show you how easy it really is. There's detailing on this butterfly's wings, which I'm going to do in chocolate, and I'm going to do the rest of it in an alternating color, and it's going to be really beautiful. So there's my, my bottom. How's pink sound? Pink, pink is a good color for Easter. So again, snipping the tip. I'm going to tap this lightly to get the candy settled into the details. And then this gets really easy because I just completely fill the mold over, just like that. What could be simpler than that? And again, I'm just going to tap my mold to release any air bubbles and smooth out the candy. Take my, my stick, which comes in the Easter ma candy making kit, put it into the mold where it's indicated, and give it a turn so that the stick is coated. You pop this into the refrigerator for about five minutes until it's set, and this is how easy it is to get your candy out. You just twist the mold a tiny bit, you'll hear a little bit of a crack for the release, and the candy will pop right out. Now you can put these into gift, ba gift baskets for Easter, just like this. We've decorated the whole Easter basket with candy and cookies and eggs, and we've wrapped it in the Hop and Tweet um, bag to give it a nice presentation and a nice finish and this is great for a hostess gift or for teachers or just friends or family. Now I also like to do cookies on sticks at Easter because these little bunnies are so cute and easy and this is the bunny pop kit. I've already sandwiched together two cookies from the kit with the icing that's included. Again a complete kit, everything you'll need, the sticks, icing, cookies, and the decorations to finish these all off. And all you have to do to decorate these is take the icing whip it up from the mix that comes in the kit. You're going to spread a little bit onto the bunny head, just like that. And you don't have to be perfect with this because you're going to go back over it with your fingertip dipped in a little bit of cornstarch to smooth it over, just like this. Just a little bit of cornstarch goes a long way and be able to get a nice smooth, smooth bunny finish. And now the kit also comes with a little bit of pink and it comes with a tip that you put the pink icing in so that you can pipe on your ears, your nose, and the mouth. And these are great to do with kids too because they really are this easy. And then it comes with some pink sprinkles. I picked a kind of a short one that was kind of hard to get on there so I'm just going to knock it off. For the whiskers, two on each side or more. There's plenty of sprinkles, so you could do three or four whiskers on each side if you want. 